New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Now, today's tool is more of a gadget, but it's a very useful gadget and it can be used as a tool. It's a kilowatt meter and it is designed to measure how much electricity you are pulling from an outlet. These have been around for a very long time and quite frankly, they haven't changed. This particular one is probably 15, maybe 20 years old, and you can still buy this very same model today. I will put a link down below in case you're interested in buying one. It's designed to plug into an outlet and then you plug your device into the front of it and then you can watch how much amps it's using, how many watts it's using, and you can even record how many kilowatts it's using over a period of time. We're just going to plug it into an extension cord so that I can show you on my workbench how this guy works. With it plugged in and nothing plugged into it itself, you can see it's going to give us the voltage of the mains. So we have 120.9 volts here, which is pretty good. You click the hertz buttons and we have 59.9. We work on 60 hertz here, so it's close enough. Now the magic happens when you plug something into it and you turn your device on, you can see what's going on. Now I'm going to also tell you that this is on a 25 foot extension cord. It's not a heavy gauge extension cord and I probably should not be using this heat gun on this extension cord. But it's going to be interesting to watch the voltage drop. We're not going to leave it on long enough to cause a problem, but you will see a voltage drop because I am using an incorrect extension cord to power something like this guy up. So let's go ahead and turn it on. There's a little voltage drop. Let's turn it on high. And we have a larger voltage drop. We're still okay, but this guy is probably pulling too much amps for the extension cord. If I go over to the amp rating, it's pulling 11.0, 11.1 amps. That's quite a bit. And if we click on the watts, you can see that it's pulling, you know, 1,252 watts, which is a lot once again. And if we go all the way over here to the right, we can see that during this time, we've used 0.002 kilowatt hours. So we could figure out how much this guy is costing us per minute if we use our calculator and we know what our kilowatt per hour charge rate is. It is relatively sensitive as well, so it'll measure some of those lighter amped devices. In fact, I'm gonna turn the heat gun dial down and I can get it to pull just a little over half of an amp. And that's the lowest setting my heat gun will do. So a couple of other features that it does have in it is it has a volt amp reading as well. And if you press this button twice over here, it'll give you a clock of how long this device has been plugged into the outlet. So what would you use one of these for? Well, if you had a malfunctioning device that you thought something was wrong with it, it was using too much electricity, well, you could plug it in here and check it. If you had an inverter or a generator that was limited on how much power it could consume, you could literally check every device that you planned on running with this guy, see how many watts it is consuming. And then you would know if you could or couldn't run it on that generator generator or a combined usage of items, you could definitely check everything out with this guy, add it all up. And if you're within spec, you can go ahead and use it on your generator or your inverter. And you could also use it to save on your electricity. If you have a couple of devices in the house that you may or may not need and you plug them into this device and you find out that they're using a lot of watts, well, maybe you don't need to leave it plugged in all the time. You can just unplug it. I really like having one of these on hand because it's nice to know how much electricity a device is using. So anyhow, I thought you might enjoy this little product. And if you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least you might be entertained.